Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are going to be doing a review of the last Tri Beauty box I got, which was the October box, and unboxing my very last box, the December 2020 box. I had this box for the entirety of 2020, and I do have a playlist I'll throw up in the cards if you missed the other videos, but what I like to do is unbox one box's worth of stuff in the video but then use the next month's video to really review all the products and i'm glad that i had this i really only wanted to keep it for a year specifically also because i'm about to move and budget is going to be changing but i'm glad i had it so i'm excited to review the products i got in the october box and unbox the december box all right so let's jump straight into the um october box if you missed the full video where i unbox it i'll have that up in the card that's also in the playlist but let's start with the palette that i got so the palette i got was the pure cosmetics defense anti-pollution palette which is this palette here and i am wearing it on my eyes today this is actually a really good palette i am happy that i got this one and it it just works really well i love the smoky look that i got using these shades over here today i'm wearing more of the warm tone shades it's kind of hard to show on camera because it's reflective but these two shades and then this shade and then I used the gold shimmer all over my lid and then my inner corner highlight is this shade right here. It has a gigantic really nice mirror that stays up on its own so if you're traveling which yeah if you're living out of a box for the next couple of weeks like I'm gonna be until I finish unpacking everything it's gonna be very nice to have and overall it's just really good. The shades are really buttery and creamy and pigmented. And honestly, this isn't a palette I would have picked out for myself. So I'm glad that I have this. It's a really nice, not boring neutral palette, but it is still like a neutral-ish palette. So I I'm glad I got this. I was a little disappointed because I think the other palette was like a Halloween themed palette. And I was like, oh, I kind of wanted that one. But I'm actually really happy with this. And I know like this is going to be a good staple palette. So that's the palette. The next product was the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Eye Concealer and Base. So this is the eye base. I'm using it as an eye primer today. It's a really nice eye primer. One thing I forgot to do, I did not try it as a concealer because I think technically this also can work as a concealer. I'm wearing Dermacol as my concealer today. So I should try it out there, but as an eye primer, I actually really liked it. And a little, a little of this goes a long way. I basically only really used the product that was on the lid, and there's still a lot of it in here. So for me, it's like a creamier version of a um, MAC paint pot. The right about the same kind of um, effect from that. So I'm glad I got this. A uh, downside is for some reason the like sticker on the bottom, it wears off quickly. So um, I'm glad it has this, the name on the side, but like the name of the product and the shade is already worn off just from the bottom. And it's not like I've been like doing this. It's just like normal wear and tear. But overall, I really like the product itself. Next, we have a product from Earth Harbor. This is the Helios Anti-Pollution Youth Ampule, and this is the product right here. It was a serum, and I actually just finished using it yesterday. So it lasted me, I want to say like a month and a half of everyday use, and I use this every PM. This was a very thick oil serum. It felt really nice. It felt moisturizing. It felt like, um, because I used this right before I did my moisturizer, so it felt like the rest of the serums I was putting on my skin were kind of locked in with this. And I have to say, I like the scent. It wasn't too strong. It felt really good on my skin. I didn't break out. I, you know, I like to rotate skincare products in one at a time to see what's really affecting my skin and how it works. And this worked just pretty well on my skin. That being said, the retail price of $48 is way too much for this. I believe in the next the previous video, I mentioned that I saw something similar or I could have sworn I saw this back at like a Marshalls. If I could find this at like a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx for like eight or ten dollars I would pick it up again because I did actually like using it especially as it was getting colder and colder and I was getting drier and drier it felt really nice on my skin but there's no way in god's green earth I would pay 48 dollars for this <laughs> just saying so I do think that's a bit inflated um but overall it was actually a decent serum I just don't ever pay that much for it just don't <laughs> Next, we have a liquid lipstick from Suva Beauty. I was going to put it on. I always like, this is a very bold lipstick, which is good. There's always a time and a place for a bold lipstick, but I have not been focusing on lipstick, <laughs> at least at all recently, of course, because we've got COVID and we've got masks and everything. So I've been doing a lot of just like chapstick looks like this, like a dramatic eye and then just like a nude lip. Um, So I keep forgetting <laughs> that I want to wear this. And then by the time I start filming, like I've already got a bold eye look on and then this would look kind of silly with it. But it is a really nice lipstick. It did, I compared it to the shades that I already had in my collection during my last declutter video, although the declutter series up in the cards. It's a very pretty shade. It is a little drying at first, um, but I'm excited to get some more use out of this, especially because it seems to be such a nice, perfect, just like deep fall color, which I know it's not fall anymore. It's always fall in my heart, okay? All right, next we have from LA Splash. This is the Lumos Liquid Metals Duo Jumbo Felt Jumbo. 
jumbo felt tip liner and cut crease definer. So I have to admit, I have not been using this a whole lot. I felt that the, the, um, the felt tip liner, it did not apply well over eyeshadow. So you kind of had to do like a really minimal eyeshadow look before you went in with this as your liner. Um, cause I saw that it would skip and it wouldn't go on, you know, as great as some of my other affordable liners do. Um, the cut crease definer, this is actually really pretty. I just haven't been doing a whole lot of defined cut creases recently, but this also makes a really good inner corner highlight. To be honest, I kind of wish this was like by itself, the glitter liner, cause I really am not a fan of the felt tip portion of the liner. Um, but I am going to keep it in my collection, at least for the, until the next declutter, because I do like this little um, liquid liner, glitter, what's it called again? Cut crease definer. I like that portion of it better than the other one. And for the price, it's $18. I wouldn't pay $18 for this liner. Just no. The last product, unfortunately, I don't have because I already used it. It was a one-time use rejuvenating eye gels patch. Um, they were... All right, <laughs> you think I used them right when I got the October box. They are moisturizing, but like not amazing for a single time use gels, especially because it's $15 for one single use mask. No, I like uh, my Shop Miss A. I can get nice sheet masks from them for a dollar. That's what I'm going to stick with. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, let's see. So I liked the palette. I liked the um, eye concealer. I liked the serum, but that's a little bit too pricey for what it is. The liquid lipstick is very nice from Suva. Uh, the LA Splash liner, the felt tip wasn't great. The other side was okay. And then the eye patches were like, okay. So I think we got like a two thirds great, one third meh kind of bag. <laughs> um, but I am glad I got to test all those products out. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and unbox our December box. And I'm very excited about this. Ooh, so there's a big palette in here, surprisingly. Oh, wow, look how big this is. Okay, let's find the card. Where is the card? Here is the card. So December 2020's theme is Dreamland. Oh, how cute. So let's see. Out of the two palettes, I got the Neon Drip palette. Ooh, that sounds exciting. <laughs> let's read about it. Create perfect, bold, glam looks with mattes and shimmers from the Neon Drip palette. These 12 vibrant and super blendable pressed pigments will make you look hotter than ever. Okay, and this is from Poppy Cosmetics. All right, let's see, let's see. Ooh, it's packaged very nicely. Oh, it's a little bit thick for a palette. Let's see. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at those. And it's got a really nice big mirror up here. Oh, look at these shades. Oh, oh, I really want to try these. Those greens are calling out to me. Oh, that those orange, that yellow. Oh, I'm excited. Look at this. Oh. Okay, I'm excited for this one. And this is from, like I said, Poppy Cosmetics, and it retails for $29. So I will test this out. It's going to be some very bright looks for January, but I'm excited to play with this palette. And I like how well packaged it is and like bubble wrapped, because honestly, I'm going to put this right back in here because I'm moving in like a week. So we're going to probably just keep that nice and packaged and try not to break it as we move. All right, let's see what else we got going on in here. Ooh, we got a balm product. Okay, let's see. Next, we have the Down Boy Blush from The Balm. Now, I've only tried, like, I think mini samples of balm blushes, so this is the blush. Ooh, I mean, it's a pretty pink color. I like the tiny little mirror there, and then this is the shade itself. Ooh, it's a nice, like hot pink I'm getting there. Okay. Like I said, I've never tried like a full size balm blush. So I'm actually pretty excited to try this out. The balm isn't really a brand known for being like super exciting. <laughs> uh, this retails for $21. Next we have some skincare it looks like. This is from Avant Skincare. And this is the Pro Intense Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Day Cream. What is that? Pro Intense Hyaluronic Acid Illuminating Day Cream is an age radiance cream that aids to illuminate your skin and consequently your day. <laughs> Combining the signature ingredients of hyaluronic acid, sea water, jojoba oil, and soy lecithin, this moisturizer is designed to intensify the illumination of your skin. So it seems like it's just like an illuminating moisturizer. Let's see, I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hair. Ooh, oh, it's blue. Okay, I don't know why I wasn't expecting that, but let's rub it in. Okay, it feels nice and moisturizing and it smells nice. Okay, 
Is it is it extra glowy? I can't tell from here on camera, but it feels really nice. And that's actually perfect if I could have this as a moisturizer. Again, moving. <laughs> this is actually a nice, it's not a, I don't think a full size product, but it seems like a nice jumbo sample of it. And it looks like this retails for $134. What? That can't be real. That's not real. That's not real. You're not real. <laughs> I, I'm out to Google this. This can't be real. Okay, so I was right. This is not a full-size... It is a full-size product. Okay, so this is a full-size product. It's just in different packaging. So, like, this is a tube, whereas it looks like the full-size product is in a jar. It's 50 milliliters, and on their website right now, it does retail for $125, not $134. But right now, it's on sale for $87, which still, that is ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna be extra, like, strict with this then. It, uh, I don't know why that just shocked me. I don't think I've ever gotten a product that expensive in one of these boxes before. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll see about that. All right, next we have a lipstick. So this is from Sola Look, and this is the Brenda Loves Dylan liquid lipstick. Okay, 90210 inspired. Oh, that's why I've never seen 90210. <laughs> Lightweight vegan liquid matte lipstick, smudge proof, non tacky, and long wear. The shade is a deep true red with full coverage. Oh, that is perfect for the holidays. Oh my god, this is perfect. <gasps> oh, I like this packaging. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna do a little. Ooh. Okay, I'm excited. That is like a perfect like Christmas red. I'm filming. I'm filming this on Christmas, so that's what I'm thinking of. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm excited to try this. I love the packaging. I love the color. I hope it's a good lipstick. And last but not least, we have what looks like a pencil. Is it a liner? This is from Iman Cosmetics, and this is the Perfect Pencil in Nutbush, which, ooh, you should have named that differently. <laughs> Line and define your eyes with this brown liner. There we go. And achieve a softer look, different from the typical black eyeliner. Creamy enough for smooth, easy application without streaking and smearing. All right. Oh, it's like totally wrapped up. How am I going to open this? Okay, so I finally got it open. It, there's a uh, sharpener in the cap, and let's just go ahead. Ooh, okay, so it did feel very creamy, and it is a really nice dark brown, almost like my eye color. So I'm pretty excited to test that out, and I'm also really excited to have a sharpener, because uh, my last sharpener is actually, like, really dirty and grody, and I need to buy a new one. So at least in the meantime, I can use that one. So that is everything. That is my review for the October box and unboxing the December box sometime in February. Since I'm not getting another box, I'll just do a follow-up review of the products that I got here in the December box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you still have any subscription boxes down below, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!